this video we are going to see how to calculate the technical efficiency so in this uh, I have used uh, three data sources so you can see here so in this uh, my uh, dependent variable is Q and the independent values are L and K so by using this we are going to estimate the technical efficiency so what first we need to do is that uh, technical efficiency can be calculated using either the crop class production function or the uh, front tire. So the crop class production function to cal estimate it, uh, we have to use a logarithmic function. So we have to take the log for each values. So uh, it's in L Q. Similarly, we have to generate a log value for each variables. So after estimating the log values for each the uh, for each variables, we have to just uh, do the regression that is a front tire and your uh, dependent variable should come first LQ, LL and LK. So it will estimate the complex class or front tire uh, method of uh, estimation and you, it will uh, provide your runover table and here you can see the uh, p values and uh, coefficient standard error everything you can get from the another table so uh, our aim is to uh, uh, predict how much efficient they are whether they are a 90 percent efficient or 80 percent or 70 percent like that so for that next what we need to do is that it is simple so um, we have to predict the efficiency predict efficiency of the error and then sort After predict efficiency of the oh sorry predict you can assign any name you need so you will be getting the technical efficiency so you have to classify it into uh, above 30 above 60 percent or 90 percent and etc so in that uh, for that you can simply uh, group the data so uh, you are uh, making a cut. Uh, in efficiency data efficiency so at so whatever the criteria you needed you can give I am giving as a point three uh, zero thirty and uh, sixty percent and ninety percent and one uh, percent that is a uh, hundred percent so let's see uh, for a uh, you can see the uh, group the data as a tab FA group so here you can see that uh, uh, 0 to 30 there are 9 frequencies and above 30 there are 84 frequencies that are uh, you can classify it and you can get the percentage and cumulative and the frequencies of that and finally you have you need to know whether uh, for example here the Q is the uh, dependent variable here the Q is nothing but the kgs so you have to know whether the how, how the groups are uh, getting the yield for example so you have to uh, correlate this with you have to combine this uh, predicted technical efficiency with the mean data so so here you can see that the efficient groups uh, for example here i have taken uh, uh, kgs or quintals here i have q is the quintals so what it ends is that uh, uh, about 90 percentage of technical efficiency farmers are yielding at 37 quintals of uh, uh, rice or paddy something like that so in that similar way you, whatever the data you are uh, going to use you can uh, use this uh, technical efficiency efficiency and you can estimate how efficient they are and how much they are yielding from it so uh, this is a small uh, easy method of uh, measuring the technical efficiency in stata so uh, thank you guys for uh, watching the video and if you are having any doubts you can just comment me thank you thanks a lot